In February, the couple received the President's Award from the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, a leading U.S. civil rights group, in recognition of their work to help a woman's shelter in Texas, their promotion of COVID vaccine equity and a partnership to create community relief centers. As the pair accepted the top accolade, Harry said, I think it's safe to say I come from a very different background to my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. Similarly, Celebrity astrologer Amelia Adam believes that the Duke and Duchess have been brought together to complete something very important. Harry was born on September 15, 1984, making him a practical Virgo sun with a grounded Taurus moon, while Meghan was born August 4, 1981, making her a fiery Leo sun with a charming Libra moon. Ms. Adam admits that on the surface they could be seen as a good match but upon delving into their energies, she claimed that the pair are soulmates. She told Friday's episode of the To Die For Daily podcast, I feel that they, Harry and Meghan, met each other at the right time, and if I were just looking on the surface, I would say, they might be a good match. But I really feel that their energies truly, truly are copacetic. I mean, they're soulmates, regardless of what people think, they are here to complete something very important together. Ms. Adam explained that Meghan and Harry's North Nodes, the ascending lunar nodes which hold the key to their destinies, puts them on very different life paths. She said, Harry's energy, his North Node, is in Gemini so he has an energy to spread a message, he has a message to give to the collective. And then Meghan has a North Node in Leo which is to be famous, to shine, it's to not conform to society, it's to be a leader in some sort of realm of being noticed or well-known. However, she added that both are individualistic and are on a path to finding their own purpose. <laughs>